Hey there fellow hunters, welcome back to my channel, I'm Blaze, and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a few tips about the Celestial Vibrarian Prince. Um, as you know, you get Celestial Vibrarian Prince from Steamworks. Oh, that reminds me. And, uh, and with the update to the Steamworks, you can set it to 10 times output which uses 100 fuel instead of 10. Well, that 10 times output not only adjusts how much fuel you use, but it also adjusts how, ma how many of the rewards you get. So, if say I pulled the right trigger and I just do one of those, that gives me 10 max potions. All right, now, that's good. All right, now, if you look up in the corner, you'll see that the Celestial Wyvarian Prince also has a 10 next to it. I call those red ones up there red flash rewards because you only get those when the screen flashes red and you get all three right. Um, you'll get a chance to get one of those red rewards. Well, if you do get one of those red rewards, it will be 10 of them. And if you, if RNG blesses you and you get the Celestial Wyvarian Print, it will give you 10 Wyvarian Prints. Unfortunately, the overdrive bonus is not really affected by that 10 times output. You will get, if the overdrive bonus is a Celestial Print, you will get, you will still get 10 items. But the overdrive bonus with the Celestial Print only is affected by once. So you will get one Celestial Print for the overdrive bonus plus nine King Armor Spheres to add up to 10 items. That kind of sucks, but eh. But say RNG Jesus actually grants you the, the Wyvarian Prince during a normal, uh, during your normal, you know, thing. And it gives you a red reward Celestial Wyvarian Print. Well, it'll give you 10. So, say you, say you do win those. Say you win those 10. Well, you can come down here to the Elder Melder, which everybody knows this is exactly what you use it for. Come down here to the Elder Melder, and not only has uh, Capcom updated uh, this, you know, the Steamworks for the uh, Celestial Prince, you can now come over here to the uh, to the monster items. Go to Number nine, right below the Stygian Zenogar Skymerald, you'll see that there's Zionium crystals. Well, those are Saphajiba crystals. Those are super rare, and you used to just you used to only be able to get them from Saphajiba himself. You would literally have to farm the crap out of Saphajiba just for one. Well, say you've won those ten celestial prints. Well, you can come down here and you can trade those ten celestial prints. I'm not saying you, sh you you know that it's efficient, but this is a really good way of doing this if Safajiva is not available as a <clears throat> is not available. So you can take your beautiful blue celestial Vibarian Prince there and trade them one for one for a Zionium crystal. You can take your ten Vibarian Prince, trade them for ten Zionium crystals. Then you can come back down here to the Awakening Alchemy, and you'll notice down in the corner there, Zionium Crystal, 300 points. So if you've got 10 Zionium Crystals, each one can net you 3 Sappy Weapons. Well, with 10 Crystals, that gives you three, uh, 30 Sappy Jeevil Weapons. So you can... And then you can sort through those 30, decide which ones you got you you want to keep, and then the ones you don't want to keep, you can just trade them in for Dracolite. And we all know how everybody likes their Dracolite. I mean, it's not as efficient as say actually farming uh, Safajiva. I'm almost positive that it'd be a heck of a lot faster. But, as I said, if Safajiva is not available, and you need the Safajiva weapons and the Dracolite, here is a very easy way to do it without actually having to fight Safajiva. Um, unfortunately, to be able to access 
sealing alchemy and awakening alchemy, you will have to complete the Sapajiva quest at least once. And that's not the recon, that's the actual siege itself. You will have to at least defeat Sapajiva once and receive the rewards from a completed siege. Um, unfortunately, um, when doing the Awakening Alchemy, those th you know, the three weapons that you get from the one Zionium Crystal is purely RNG. Um, you really have no, uh, no control over what it spits out, uh, as in uh, with the regular Siege, you can run over to your box, equip the weapon that you want one, for, you know, one of, and then go and claim the rewards and you, you're guaranteed at least one weapon that, you're, that you've got equipped when claiming the weapons. Um, but, like I said, if Sappy is not up, this is the best way to get more Sappy weapons. Or at least the only way to get more Sappy weapons, unless you've got a ton of other Sapajiva uh, materials that you can just, you know, dump into this. Uh, but, and if you don't, you know, like I said, if you don't like what weapons it gives you, just throw them away for some Dracolite. Uh, the two, I got two weapons the other day off of just trading in some. <clears throat> Celestial Prince, I got the Sappy's Burst Cannon, and I got the Sappy's Aqua Shot. And I had enough Dracolite out of the rest of the weapons that I traded in for my, you know, for the Zionium Crystals to upgrade these uh, Sappy's Aqua Shot with, well, that one's the Silver Rathalos Essence, which I think gives the, uh, yeah. I was running uh, elemental on it, which I know everybody's like, "Why are you running elemental? It should be you should be running uh, sticky ammo on it." Yeah, I know, but I was using it for a very specific reason, and I mean it's not really hard to swap that out. Um, now the Sappy Burst Cannon, uh, arguably one of the strongest, uh, one of the strongest weapons in the game. Um, I mean, and I don't, I haven't swapped out the recoil suppressor yet. Um, the recoil suppressor and the skills actually counts as one recoil suppressor. And with it, you having it in the awakened abilities, you can take that recoil suppressor that you would normally have on it and swap it for something else. Which you could swap it out for another close range up. Or you can essentially build this like a easier version of the, uh, Zenogar Heavy Bowgun, essentially making it Glutton 3.0. Um, it's got, it's got, uh, let's see, spread 3, normal recoil 1, normal reload. And if you get the, uh, uh, the spread ammo up on the Awakened abilities with, uh, with free element ammo up skills, you can have like eight rounds in a clip and you could just, it would be, it's just, it gets disgustingly stupid. But anyways, I'm not going to take your guys' time too much. Uh, I don't have anything else to show you other than that, so. Uh, I figured I'd just give you guys some information on that, something I, I just stu I stumbled upon. Um, like I said, Konzo A has, you know, he confirmed that you do get 10 Wyvarian Prints when you do when you get a Red Flash reward or one of those red rewards. So uh, just farm your uh, farm your guiding lands for some uh, for some fuel. Uh, my previous video is uh, is the build that I run through the guiding lands with. You'll find it very helpful. Um, but other than that. That's all I have for you today. Uh, have a safe one and happy hunting.